All right, so what I want to do is take, um, take a probability distribution and create a histogram. We can actually take a probability distribution and we can, um, we can create a probability calculator for it. So if I wanted to, I can graph, um, a, it, I would do this as a, as a bar plot with summary data where the category values are X and the counts are in PX and that's all I really need to do hit compute and you'll get your bar chart um, now bar charts not exactly the same as a histogram but um, we can't really compare we can't make the bars wider but we can choose which of these matches and you can clearly see it's this first one um, so the now we can we can also get um, now what I want to do however is calculate the mean and the expected value a mean and the very the standard deviation of this to do that I'm going to actually go under the stat menu under calculators and choose a custom calculator where my values are in the X column and my weights are in PX column and hit compute we're gonna get a very similar chart but this is gonna give us some ability to do some probability calculation so we can um, so this actually gives us the mean and the standard deviation of this probability distribution um, and that's exactly what we're asked for. The mean is mu of x. So I'm going to just type that in to one decimal place. That's 2.5. And um, standard deviations over here. Um, so what, what is the mean? The mean says that the long-term average of this, of this probability experiment um, should be is 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 the mean. So as the number of experiments increases, the average of our sample should approach the expected value or the mean. So that's what we're saying. As the number of experiments increases, that's what we would expect for a long-term average. What is the variance? So variance is the square of standard deviation. It's giving us the standard deviation. We have to calculate variance. So variance is we take the 1.355. I'll put in all the decimal places. Oops. 0, 0144. And I'm going to square it. That's going to give me variance. And that's what I need to type in here. Sigma squared is a variance. 1.83. Oh, it only wants one decimal place. 1.8. Standard deviation is given to me directly, so I can type that in. One decimal place is 1.4. I have to round it up. Beautiful. Um, notice this ca probability calculator allows us to calculate probabilities. What's the probability that somebody had fewer than four? Uh, fewer th oh, four is obvious. What's the probability it was, uh, say, equal to three? Hit compute, you get that probability. What, what's the probability it was greater or equal to two? Click that and it gives you the total probability is 0.763. So the probability calculator is super handy and it's a great way of taking a probability distribution and putting it into a tool that you can use for calculations.